I'm really excited about this video that I'm doing for you guys today. This is the video that I have been waiting to do for quite a while now because as you know I've been going through my favorite foundations and concealers, my favorite blushes, my favorite highlights. Finally, I'm going to go straight to the eyes and we're just going to really get started and we're going to talk about that. Today, I believe I've picked out some amazing palettes for you guys and as you know, I love a lot of neutral looks, so I'm going to basically give you some drugstore alternatives to some of these looks, and I'm also going to just be sharing with you, I think, are the best palettes of all times thus far, because these palettes, I mean, yes, they're neutral, but they have really great color payoff and these are just the ones that I see people use a lot and these are the ones that I see people keep going back to a lot so if you're interested in the palettes that I'm going to show you today then please the first tuned. palette I'm going to show to you is the um, vanity palette and this is by wet and wow and that's just what it looks like and as you can see I did put a dent pretty much in this palette because the colors again are so versatile and you can just do a lot of different looks with them so on the one side as you can see here you have pretty much all your matte shadows on this side and then over here you have your shimmery um, kind of shadows there and these are really really pigmented um, I know people are going to ask to see swatches. Um, if you're interested in seeing the swatches on these different palettes that I'm going to be showing today, please go to my blog. It's shopsavvysaver.blogspot.com and I will have the swatches there um, if you're interested in these palettes. But just really, really pretty colors. Again, you have your matte shades and your shimmery runs on the other side. So you really can't go wrong with this palette. You can get Wet n Wild from any drugstore. Um, and I'm pretty sure sure this palette is still out this is one of the easier ones that um that I didn't have a lot of trouble finding but I'm pretty sure this one is still sticking out. with wet and wild this next palette that I'm gonna talk to you about is comfort zone and I love this palette here you're getting these amazing shadows um you're actually getting eight shadows and the pigmentation on these is amazing um really pretty colors these are all shimmer products here these all have the, the little shimmers in it but they're really really beautiful definitely you can mix and blend them and these are the ones that I use whenever fall comes around I'm, I usually go back usually to this palette um, it just gives you so many different looks that you can achieve from wearing this palette it's just an all over really great palette and I absolutely so I'm love to talk to you about is the nude toot and this is by the bomb and you know I love this one this is one that I completely use basically all the time you can even see I've hit pan on the color sultry right there but I really really love this palette just a really nice palette I mean the colors in this one are really pretty they're really pigmented um, it's just a really really nice palette again you're getting two four six eight ten twelve shadows you also have some mattes in here as well so you have um, four matte shades in there but all of these are really basically a cool tone palette um, but it's just really nice you can definitely use these I use this palette basically pretty much every day until I received my next palette that I'm going to talk to you guys about and this is the city chick and the buff palette and I absolutely love this. I love the brush. I love the, um, this is, here's the, con um, not concealer, but the eyeshadow primer. But these colors, again, nice, really pretty, pretty colors. Definitely something that you could get away with wearing for fall. I like natural colors anyway, so I'm more likely to wear it all year round. But as you can see, I really love this palette. And I've been wearing these shadows wet and dry and it's just a beautiful look I have it on today I'm going to just zoom in really quickly for you to see um, what it looks like so this is the the look that I have on today from the Mali palette um, basically that's just what it looks like there just like I said just a really really pretty palette um, and the colors that I used um, basically to create this look was what was it toast it and Egyptian gold and did I buff anything and I buffed my crease and used um, buff and cappuccino for in the crease anyway and then I went back and I put the 
the shadow color on bubbly and that's I, I just love the way it looks to me it looks really good um, and it's definitely something you could go out with it's not too last but top. not least you definitely have to give you know if it was not for Urban Decay's naked palette none of these palettes probably would even be on the market to face it um, you know Urban Decay's Naked Palette really started it all. For me, I didn't really like Urban Decay's Naked Palette. I actually went with the Naked 2, and this is why I mentioned it in this video. Because, again, this is just another kit. Really pretty. The colors are amazing. I know there are dozens and dozens of videos on here. A lot of people say they didn't really like this palette. But I don't really see how you cannot like it. I mean, so many other palettes are out there on the market but I don't think that when you look at them all the palettes that I have seen and have noticed compare to be different and a lot of people saying that you know if they had to go with the naked one the naked two they would go with the naked one I'm one of these people that I would actually go with my naked two see the difference in the this is the Miley one this is the Urban Decay like and they're two completely different palettes but most people will think that they're the same so basically I'm really happy with um, my Naked 2 palette I don't see why so many people have negative things to say about it they like the first one better um, to me I just found that those were over over shimmery for me they were just I really couldn't do a lot with those and I feel that I can do more with these colors and these are darker colors than the other one too I think that's what it is I think this is more like the neutral browns as the other one had some more cooler tones in it maybe I don't know but I've just found that the naked two works best for me and that so there you guys have it these are my favorite favorite eye palettes guys I really love these palettes I can't say it enough you know these are all palettes that each one of these have been in one of my favorites videos um, this the naked has been in favorite videos when I first got it. Um, the new two has been in favorites videos. I think basically up into this last one where I talked about the Mali palette, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, this I think I've talked about this somewhere in some favorite videos or something like that. But this is a wonderful palette, the Vanity, and then the Comfort Zone. I mean, this is the palette that I basically when I first started making YouTube videos, this was my go-to palette. So. There you guys have it. These are amazing, amazing palettes. If you have the opportunity to pick any of these palettes up, I def definitely would recommend that you do so because they are amazing palettes. I guarantee you, you will absolutely fall in love with them as I have, and they have great color payoff. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Happy Friday to everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye.